I would hope that we would have more um, uh, communicative uh, culture here that people would be much more willing and open to talk about their, their things. I think uh, Americans uh, and, and British are very good, good speakers and I think that they have much more open culture for this. I've said a few times that Facebook is a perfect tool for Finns uh, in, in, the, in a way of being social because you actually don't have to meet anybody or talk to anybody in person. So I think uh, this also shows in the Finnish speech culture. In Finland, it, it's a country of five million people, so finding interesting people in here is definitely more difficult than, for example, doing the same in the US. I think that many of the seminars and conferences we have in Finland are usually very predetermined in how they, you know, what, uh, what they're going to be. It's usually about one subject only, whereas we want to have, well, of course, technology, entertainment and design, which are the, the cornerstones of TED. So we want really this to be an insp inspirational um, afternoon for a lot of people. The key thing also, also with, with the whole TED is that, that uh, it's, it's actually a good format to, to collect inspiring speakers to talk about relevant issues in, in a kind of like condensed form. We are not using the mainstream faces. We might be having one or two mainstream faces, but we also try to find people who are sort of like under the radar. Uh, people who are great in design, great in science, and so on and so on. And I think that almost always half of our speakers are kind of like unknown for the big audience. You can be a good TED speaker uh, in many different ways, in my, in my opinion. You know, some, some are very energetic, some are less energetic, but I think the passion for, for their subject matter and, and expertise, and also the willingness to share what they're doing, uh, I think those are the, the core elements that that you need to have in order to create a good TED speak. So we are not having people who have the sort of like negative message or whatever. We want to have people who have done something remarkable and they have an interesting message that they want to share. But you also have to have the ability to sort of like tell the story in a compelling way. It, it demands a lot from the speaker because uh, you really need to put your mind and heart to how you construct your speech and, uh, and sometimes we there are interesting topics too that we want to bring as a topic and then we try to find the, the right person with, the, with an interesting point of view to talk about that subject. But it's always, uh, the main thing is always the character and the person and, and how, and the point of view. So that's, that's maybe the main concern that we have the right person with an interesting point of view and that's, that's the hardest work for us. If you are open, if you do your homework, if you are discussing with interesting people or whatever, I think that you could easily, easily keep going for 10 years and find fantastic speakers for each event. If you give yourself the opportunity to be interested in something that you probably didn't think you were going to be interested in, I think then I think the goal for us has been achieved.